I am the son of Polybus, who reigns at Corinth, and the Dori Merope, his queen. There long I held the most foremost rank, honoured and happy, when a strange event, <sighs> the strangest it was, though little meriting the deep concern I felt, alarmed me much. A drunken reveller at the feast proclaimed that I was the only supposed son or Corinth's king. Scarce I could bear the day, the vile reproach. Next I sought my parents and asked of them the truth. They too, in rage, resented much the base indignity. I liked their tender warmth, but still I felt a secret anguish, and unknown to them I sought out the Pythian oracle. In vain. Touching my parents, nothing I could learn, but dreadful were the miseries it denounced against me. "'Twas my fate, Apollo said, to wed my mother, and produce a race accursed and abhorred, at last to slay my father, who begat me. Sad decree! Lest I should ever fulfil this dire prediction, instantly I fled from Corinth, by the stars guiding my helpless journey to the place where thou reportest this wretched king was slain. But I will tell thee the whole truth, at length. I came to where the freeways met, when, lo, a herald, with another man like him, whom thou described, in a chariot, met me. Both strove with violence to drive me back. Enraged, I struck the charioteer, and went straight as I advanced. The old man saw, and twice smote me over the head. But dearly soon repaid the insult on me. From his chariot rolled prone on the earth. Beneath my staff he fell, and instantly expired. The tender train all shared his fate. If this unhappy stranger and Laius be the same, lives there a wretch so cursed, so Hateful to the gods as I am, nor citizen, nor alien must receive, or converse, or communion hold with me, but drive me forth with infamy and shame. The dreadful curse pronounced with my own lips shall soon overtake me. I have stained the bed of him whom I had murdered. Am I then aught but pollution? If I fly from here hence, the, the bed of incest meets me, and I go to slay my father Polybus, the best, the, the tenderest parent. This must be the work of some malignant power. Ye righteous gods! Let me not see that day, but rest in death, rather than suffer from such calamity.